everybody, today I'm going to be doing a holiday look for you all and I'm also going to be doing a short review of the Motives Cosmetics and the Nude Palette. This is the palette that I'm actually going to be using in the tutorial. I used the evening side of this palette which is a little bit dramatic but still neutral for this look and I used the bronzer too and then I used a deep red lip so this is perfect for holiday parties or if you just want to wear it for your Christmas dinners or whatever you like or you could always wear this any time of the year I just wanted to do a red lip for something a little bit more festive so let's go ahead and get started so I'm first going to start off with my Urban Decay Primer Potion and I'm going to apply this all over my lid and some on my lower lash line so first I'm going to start out with the shade called Force which is a really nice just dark gray brown color it's definitely a cooler brown and I'm using a flatter shape blending brush to apply this to the outer portion of my lid and I'm just gonna work this shadow back and forth it looks kind of messy at first but we're going to keep blending it as we go and if you see a little bit of purple in there that is because I had some leftover shadow on my brush from before but we're gonna cover that up in a minute so I'm just gonna slowly blend this and increase the intensity to my liking Then I'm just taking the shade called Fawn, which is a very light brown, and this works as a perfect transition shade. And for this, I'm using a synthetic blending brush. This one has a rounder shape to it, and I'm just going to work that into my crease, focusing it right above that darker shade we already applied. And this is just going to help blend it up into the brow bone. Now I'm using the shade Force again and I'm applying it using a pencil brush to my lower lash line. I'm just going to focus that on the outer half of it. Now I'm taking the shade called Cream which is just a matte skin tone color and I'm going to be using this to highlight my brow bone which is also going to help blend everything out and I'm just using a synthetic blending brush from Essential Tools. Then I'm just blending everything out with a clean blending brush. Now I'm taking the shade called Dazzle which is a gorgeous shimmery color. This isn't really champagne and it's also not really gray. It has a really pretty like pinkish purple tint to it. It's just gorgeous. Kind of looks like rose gold in some lighting. It's just such a unique color and I'm just packing that all over my lid focusing it on the inner part using a large synthetic shader brush and then I'm just blending that out again with the clean blending brush. And I'm also going to take some of that onto my lower lash line and just blend it out towards the outer corner. Now I'm taking the shade called Lux, which is a really pretty light gray color and it has a little bit of a ivory tint to it as well and I'm just applying that using a small angled brush to my inner corners. Now I'm using my Studio Gear Black Gel Liner on a bent eyeliner brush and I'm just going to create a very thin line on my upper lash line and I'm also going to be creating a wing and I wanted to keep it pretty thin. I'm also taking it towards the inner corner of my eye as well, just lining that entire upper lash line and then flicking it out on the end. Then I'm just dragging what's left over on my brush to my lower lash line and I'm just taking that about half of the way in as well. Then I'm taking my CoverGirl Ink It Eyeliner Pencil in black and I'm just going to line my waterline with that. I'm also going to line my inner tear duct area just to kind of give my eyes a cat eye shape. Then I'm just going to soften that liner using my pencil brush. I didn't add any shadow to it, I just used what was left over. Now I'm taking my Studio Gear Prime Objective Lash Primer and I'm just going to apply that to my lashes. This really helps my mascara go on better and it also gives me tons of length and volume. So while that dries, I'm just going to apply my blush, which is the NYX Powder Blush in Mocha. And this is a gorgeous burgundy shade, it's kind of mauve, it's perfect for this time of year and it goes really well with red lips too. Then I'm going to pick up the Miami Glow Bronzer that comes in the in the nude palette and I'm just going to apply that using a tulip shape brush from Sedona Lace. I'm just applying it in the 3C motion along my forehead and my cheeks. I'm going to slightly contour with it and then also take it down my neck and this is just going to really bronze up my face. It gives my face a nice glow which is perfect when I'm wearing red lips so I don't look too washed out. Then I'm just curling my eyelashes. I like doing this after the lash primer just so it will stay in place. 
For mascara, I'm using the new Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara, and I'm obsessed with this mascara. It works so well on my lashes. I didn't even see the need to use falsies or to use my fiber mascara. I just used this, and I got tons of length and volume, too. Now I'm going to be using the Studio Gear Prime Objective Lip Primer, and a lip primer works excellent when you're using red lipstick, especially matte lipsticks, because it keeps your lips from looking too dry. It also fills in any fine lines. It just makes it go on so much better, but you could totally skip this if you don't have one. Then I'm using the Studio Gear Lip Liner in Perfect Plum, and I'm just going to line my lips with that and then fill them in. A lip liner definitely makes a difference when you're using a dark lip, because it just keeps it from bleeding, and it just allows you to apply the lipstick a whole lot easier, and then that way you don't go outside the liner anything. Plus when your lipstick wears off you'll still have the liner left on underneath. That's why it's also important to fill in your lips with the lip liner and not just do the outer line. Now I'm going to be using the Maybelline lipstick. This is the matte one and this one is in Divine Wine. It's a gorgeous wine color and I'm just kind of dabbing that on my lips. I'm not applying too much of it because I don't want it to get too dark but this is a really nice holiday lip color and it lasts such a long time too. Then I'm taking some of the lip color that comes in the palette called Kiss Me and I'm just applying some of that with my finger to the center of my lips to add a little bit of sparkle. And that is it for the completed makeup look. Definitely let me know if you guys decided to try this out and please tweet me a picture. You can tag me on Instagram if you do try it out. I would love to see your looks and how you recreated it. I don't normally go for a dark lip with dark smoky eyes, but I think if you keep the smoky eyes very neutral and don't use a whole lot of color, just keep the colors neutral. It will go great with the dark lip. So that is it for this makeup look. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you want to see more about the In The Nude palette, definitely check out my blog. I'll have more of a write-up review on there if you're interested. I also have pictures of the look and everything if you want to pin them on your Pinterest boards. I'll be sure to follow everyone back who does. I think this palette is amazing quality though. The shadows are so buttery smooth and I also really like the bronzer and the lip product as well. This would make a perfect Christmas gift for someone who loves makeup. Or if you wanted to add it to your own Christmas list as well and ask for it from your parents or something. I definitely love it. I think it's worth it. It has some great shadows for daytime, so if you want a more natural look, and then you can also take your look into the evening time or even create some great dramatic looks with this. So if you're interested in purchasing any of the other products or the palette that I used in this video, I will link everything for you guys on the blog post. And the link for my blog post is the first link in the description box below. I'll have another holiday look up for you all very soon where I will be sharing my makeup, my hair, and my outfit as well. And I'm also going to be doing it with another YouTuber, so that's really exciting. Also, don't forget, I do still have my huge holiday collab giveaway going on where I'm giving away a Lorac palette, um, a BH Cosmetics contour and blush palette, and some other great prizes as well. And there's three winners for that, and you still have some time to enter. That one ends on Christmas Eve, so make sure you enter that before the giveaway is over. I will leave a link for the giveaway video down below. So thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to follow me on all my social media if you want to keep up with me day to day and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye everyone. And Target has a ton of these blanket scarves that are plaid and they're just so cute. This one has like a teal green color with some bright red perfect for Christmas time. And then